Assalamu alaikum. Today is your third lecture and I am going to read, explain page 3 and 4 or chapter 1 and unhappy childhood. Kindly put the date on page number 3 and keep your pencils with you. Holiday. I was quite tired and very glad when we reached your mouth. Pegasus nephew Ham was waiting for us there. Ham was a huge, strong man. He was six feet tall, but his young face made him look quite like a boy. Ham carried me home on his back. After a while, we came to a piece of low, flat ground. Ham said, there is our house, Master Davy. I looked all around me as far as I could see. There was no house anywhere. Then, not far away, I saw an old black boat pulled up on dry ground. It had an iron pipe sticking out of it for a chimney. The smoke from the chimney made it look very warm and comfortable. Is that it? said I. That thing like a ship. That's it, Master Davy, replied him. The idea of living in a real boat delighted me. There was a door on one side and little windows. To me, it seemed a perfect place to live in. Waiting for us at the door were a sad-looking woman and a most beautiful little girl. The little girl would not let me kiss her when I offered to. Instead, she ran away and hid. Her name was Emily. A little later, when we were having our dinner, a man came in. He had long untidy hair and a pleasant face. He was Peggy's brother. Mr. Peggy. When they reached there, David was very excited to see Peggy's house. That was a boat in Drea. Your mouth. David met many people as Peggy, Mr. Ham, Mrs. Gummidge, and Emily. Later, Peggy told me that Ham and Emily were cousins, and Mr. Peggy was their uncle. Ham's parents had died, and so had Emily's. Mr. Peggy cared for both of them. The sad looking woman, Mrs. Gummidge, was the wife of Mr. Peggy's partner in a fishing boat. The partner had been drowned in a storm at sea. Mrs. Gummidge was very poor, so Mr. Peggy cared for her too now. That night, as I went to sleep, I heard the noise of the wind throwing out at sea and the waves thundering on the shore. I was glad Mr. Peggy was there to look after us all. In the morning, it was bright and sunny. I got out of bed and went with little Emily to pick up stones on the beach. You like sailing, I suppose, I said to Emily. No, replied Emily, thinking her head, I am afraid of the sea. I said, looking at the sea bravely, I am not. Oh, but it is so cruel, said Emily. I have seen it break a boat as big as our house. Of course, I was in love with Emily. We used to walk and play on the beach all day. In the evening, we sat together near the fire. I told Emily how much I loved her. She said she loved me, and I am sure she did. At last, the day came for me to leave, and when I returned home, I found that there had been great changes. My mother had married Mr. Murderstone, and he was now my father. Mr. Murderstone loved my mother very much, but he was not a kind man. David, he said to me one day, if my horse or dog is disobedient, I beat him. I beat him hard. I say to myself, I'll defeat him and I am determined to do it. I knew then that Mr. Murderstone would beat me if I displeased him. David was very happy by living in boat house. He played with Emily who was Mr. Pagatti's niece. Emily and David walked on beach and collected a stone. They both became friends. After having so much fun, David came back and found that his mother had married Mr. Murderstone. Murderstone was a very strict man. Words, please underline them in your book. Interfered, tired, huge, carried, chimney, comfortable, delighted, pleasant. Drowned, sure, afraid, cruel, disobedient, and determined. Now the homework for today's lecture is to draw or paste picture of title page of novel.
Till then, Allah Hafiz.